Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Andrew here. Uh, I'm gonna do the video about the changing the hard top to a soft top here on the Jeep. We did that a couple days ago. Uh, but I wanted to point out a few things here at the start of the video. Uh, number one, sorry for it being dark. We did it at night on July 4th, so there's gonna be some fireworks you hear in the background and different stuff. Um, before you get started, if you already have your soft top, make sure you have the brackets that mount right here. Uh, I'll show you those. Some people kind of get started changing their Jeep and realize they don't have them, or the top and realize they don't have them, and kind of get screwed. So make sure you have those to get started, which I'll go into more detail later in the video on that. Anyway, enjoy the video, and here we go. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Andrew here. We got Lacey here in the Jeep. Uh, we're going to try to make a new video on how to remove a Jeep Wrangler hardtop and put a soft top back on in its place. Uh, there's a video out there that shows most of this pretty well. Um, with us being new at this, we felt the video kind of left out a, key, a few of the key steps. We're going to try to make another video to help show some of those steps that were left out that helped us that we had to find out the hard way. Uh, stay tuned and we'll get this on the road. To get started off, you have your freedom panels here that we have to take out. You open these brackets here up, one on each side. And then you also have to remove up here in the sound bar in the back, these two bolts. And there's some latches around in the ceiling uh, going back as well. I will mention it's July 4th here, 2017. It's humid. The dew point's like 78, so it's hot. We're sweaty. We've been working all day, but... Uh, we get all the, the two bolts out and we get the latches loose. You start by taking out the driver's side piece of the Freedom Top. Alright, we have both of our pieces out. This bag here came, came with the Jeep. Uh, it's made for these two pieces. We've got them securely stowed. There's a divider between the two pieces. Just pay attention for that. Alright, the next step for us is we're going to be disconnecting the the wire harness for the rear wiper and the hose for the rear wiper fluid. Uh, for the rear wiper fluid, you can just kind of pinch on here. It's kind of oval shaped. You'll pinch on the long ends of the oval and pull. And it comes apart. And then on this piece, you slide the red tab over. And then you kind of push here on the bottom and pull and separate. And you can tuck them in behind the carpet here once we get the top off. Now, here's our soft top we're going to be putting it on we we're going to do this earlier in the uh, in the day at a different location but uh didn't work out so we're doing this here tonight uh, for most people this kit right here came with the jeep uh, you're probably going to want to open it up and get it ready to use it you're going to need the torx bit here i believe it's the middle one let's say we had this off last year and we converted these six uh screws right here into the quick thumb release screw so we don't need it for us but i think it's the t25 uh, to take these six out there's three on each side uh, that'll be our next step and we'll go ahead and get these out and we'll move on from there all right for us i believe this is going to be our final step in getting the hard top off there's two screws left here on the top and the front right behind where the three the freedom panels came out there's going to be one right here in this corner and there's going to be one there on the opposite side uh, this is the Torx bit T40, not the T25, it's the T40, and we're going to be taking those out now. I'm going to go ahead and got a power drill to make mine a little easier. And that's how that easy that comes out. We'll go ahead and get the other one out. Now that we have the two Torx bit screws there in the front out, we're going to attempt to take the hard top off. It's loose. We've disconnected the, the hoses and the wiring harness here in the back. I'm going to try to do this by myself. Um, it's going to be kind of heavy, but I might be able to do it. Right now, all the, the two back doors are open. We have this door open. Uh, the hard part with the door open right here is you have to get this piece here at the hard top open over the tire. So sometimes if you have more than one person, it's easier to kind of close this back with a spare tire with the glass open and slide down the center. Uh, this is what the Jeep's going to look like with it off right here. Uh, it's all open everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and start by putting the soft top on. Alright, we kind of got some of the pieces laid out here for the soft top to be going on. Uh, you kind of got these two clips right here. Those are hold the tailgate bar in, which this right here is the tailgate bar. 
uh, holds the back glass in above the door and then you have two pieces you have one here and one here for the driver's side and then you have this one and that one there at the end for the passenger side the shorter piece right here it's going to go above the driver's side door and you have these pieces that are hinged uh, those go above the rear door and the shorter side of the two pieces there it starts here and then goes down to there the shorter of the two so it goes uh, up and down and the longer two goes from the the curve the joint right there is going to go start there and go towards the front of the jeep and then the other piece is going to connect on to the end up here and then continue on to the front of the jeep that way all right so we've got our piece here we're going to unfold it and we've kind of got this tab here at the bottom and these here the hole for the hard top used to be put that in there uh, which is going to be right here slides into there in place and up here at the top you've kind of got this uh, u-shaped piece that's going to go around the bar here and line up to be the long bolt that goes through there we'll kind of go ahead and get this into place all right we've kind of got this piece mostly in place we still got to put the bolt in Just a couple things to point out when you get it up here this should be forwarding to the front now and then you have this part of the gasket here the seal when you make sure this is up and over and into the channel not pushing it and binding it so you don't have any release all right, we're going to try to get this long bolt here pushed down through the hole. You may want to kind of move your fabric back here so you're not sitting on top of it. And then you just kind of line it up through the hole. You may have to kind of wiggle it around some and then tighten into position. Now we're now we're back here from the front piece. We got a long bolt in. On this one, you're going to need a short bolt and a long bolt, and they're both right here. Uh, this part of the hole here is going to line up with the piece you just put on, sits on top of it. You've got this u-shaped piece that's going to go around here you have to move your fabric again and then it also sits in this channel make sure you get it inside of not binding and pushing uh, so that's that i work it through get it in position and check everything out go ahead and get the back the short bolt goes here in the back kind of got to move both pieces of plastic to get it to line up in there. And then you can tighten it into position. And you come up here to the front, the long one, get it in, and get it lined up and into position and tighten it down. All right, quick thing to note, I forgot to mention earlier, and I'll make a note of it when I start this video, so this is what I'll, what I'll be talking about now that you've caught up to this point. This bracket right here, uh, it's a very important bracket you're going to need this uh, when we bought ours we made sure that we had it we'd watch a different youtube video and they said if you don't get it you're gonna have to go buy it because your top will not fit without that uh, so we made sure we had it it's kind of what everything for the soft top mounts to so it's a very key part of that so if your jeep doesn't already have it make sure when you get your soft top you get this with it or go ahead and order it now before you get everything apart uh, i'll mention that in the beginning of this video and you'll be to that point now so this is what i was talking about then all right, we're going to go ahead and start putting these clips on for the tailgate bar while we got a free spec in. Um, this side is closed and it's open here. That's where the bar slides into. This will be how it lines up. Right here, this portion is slightly longer. There's kind of a notch right here, so it's going to go from that notch back this way. And kind of slide it up like that and push it back into position. Or actually, start it there, rotate it forward into the position. All right, we've kind of got the soft top up into position. Uh, these are the two legs there. You get the shorter leg here, and the long one up there. We're gonna go just on the bracket, kind of like they're sitting there now. Uh, this is the part that's actually the should be the T25 there inside of those. Uh, I mentioned earlier the to take the soft or the hard top off. It was the T25. Those was actually the T40. This is the T25. I'm gonna loosen these, slide it on the position, and tighten them into place. All right, we got them in place though. They're, they're all tightened up just like we said. There's Lacey there helping out. All right, we well, got everything. We kind of flipped it up. We're in the garage, so it's hard to do. So we didn't film that portion of this video. Uh, a couple quick things to point out though. When you kind of get it up, you have this piece right here. Oh, that's hinged. And you got that. And it goes, it needs to catch over this round piece right here. 
So it kind of locks up. Uh, when it's up, it'll lift up out of there. Uh, like so. So you need to kind of make sure it locks in there and goes over it. So this is kind of top here in position. Lacey's kind of holding it there. Uh, a few things to kind of watch and pay attention to. Um, now this is how those brackets went. There's a strap that runs right here. Back in this corner, you just want to make sure it's kind of over one time, not two or three times as it kind of happens. And then you kind of go forward there and around. That's those brackets here on the other side. That's kind of how it all goes together. All right, now that we kind of got the top laid out in position, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, hooking everything together. You got these black plastic pieces here. Uh, they go under this rail and tuck into it. I kind of try to line this seam right here up with the corner for the most part and this other corner to the outside edge as best as you can. Kind of pull down and just put each piece under and clip and kind of push them in. Break your way around. Sometimes I kind of like to grab up here at the top and pull down as I do to make it easier to get them in there. Create a little more leverage. Uh, the top in the front is still unbuckled. It lets you be able to pull more here in the back without fighting it near as hard. Uh, technically, I think you're supposed to go ahead and loop the buckles in to the latches there in the front, but don't actually latch them down. That way it kind of helps you easier on both ends. All right, once you get the back corners tucked in, you're gonna come up here above the passenger door, the back door, or whatever side that you're on, go ahead and tuck those into position as well. And then you can move up here to the front piece and did the same thing they tuck in under the windows this piece doesn't really have a part that tucks it's flat on the back side right there so it just kind of goes into the gap the rest that kind of tucks under and you do both sides that way all right we're going to start putting the back window in on ours the zipper on the left some i believe are on the right hand side you're also going to need your bar right here uh, some people slide the bar on first there's a groove right here that it slides into uh, down this this uh, channel here with the circle in it goes over the circle part uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get mine zipped part of the way first and then I'll put the bar in some people may want to go ahead and leave part of this untucked the zippers back here in the corner uh, make sure you catch both of them Alright, your bar is going to sit like this, getting started. Uh, this is the channel you slide your window into. Slide it all the way across. And then you will lock it into place. It goes on the inside of the fabric. this plastic channel here kind of catch both of them in at once so I try to put mine straight down like this and then rotate it into position so the two pieces of the gasket match up right there and then you'll finish by re-zipping your window <laughs> closed we're trying to get this window here put in one of our last steps Hopefully, I don't have to loosen anything up to get this in right. Um, but uh, this is going to show the crucial step that the other main video that most of you that are watching this have probably already watched or will watch. It's a good video. That's one that we watched. Uh, the gentleman put out two videos. Uh, the second one's the newest one he had out, obviously, and much and improved. Uh, we're going to get this started zipped in part of the way. stop right here uh, try to get this crucial part which is here at the front uh, when we originally thought kind of just push this in and close the door around it and holds it into place but that's not the case you actually want to tuck it into this groove that's right here it took us a little while to realize that we kept having issues with it blowing out and coming loose and flopping down the road like this 
Uh, well, we've seen some other video or other people around here driving around with the same problem. Thus, the reason we decided to try to make this uh, part of the video. Just want to go ahead and kind of tuck it in if we can. Bend it at a 90 degrees. And get it tucked in like so. And then we go ahead and finish zipping the window around. And then tucking it in and velcroing it down. into position and then we'll close the door and everything holds it into place and then once that's done or beforehand you can take this bottom part go ahead and tuck it in like we've done on the other pieces of the Jeep here on the other side we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing just give you a better look and another look at it uh, go ahead and get it started by getting it zipped in here At least part of the way. I'm going to come around, bend it over at 90, and it tucked in. I'm sure you kind of got it properly. You may want to go ahead and tuck this bottom plastic in, let it pull itself down to where it needs to be, making sure you keep it tucked in and around. That tucked in there. And finish zipping it around. Now we got it zipped in. Go ahead and velcro it down, tuck it under. Uh, finish the velcro there. Make sure everything stays tucked in nice and tight. Put when you're driving, you don't have any wind. Pushing that out and just flopping around. Door should close nice and around, and that's it. It's up, and then you loosen these and then fold it halfway back from the sunrider top, or flip it part way back, pull those latches on the inside, loosen it up, and then slide the whole thing back, and then tie it into the lace or use the straps if you had them that came with your Jeep and put them into place so it doesn't come loose. And that's it. Thanks for watching. All right, two more quick things. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put these our thumb screws that we had here back in here so these blocks that are here don't slide and move out of position or fall out or whatever uh, that's tip number one and the second tip this is what we have here um, this Jeep did not have the straps we tried to order some stuff off Amazon we didn't like anything we got these I think these are 18 inch or 22 inch they're folded in half right now uh, they're kind of like a rubber coated wire tie and that we would put them up here around this part of the frame when the top is down we loop one in around the frame the other end around the rest of the top to keep it in position just that last little tidbit and that's it thanks